Welcome to the Genuine Facts. In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts about dragonflies. While you're watching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, enable notification, share with your friends and family, and hit the like button. Comment down below, I love dragonfly. The wings of a dragonfly are so powerful that they're able to fly at speeds of up to 22 to 34 miles per hour. Dragonflies first began to fly about ponds, marshes, and other areas of water over 350 million years ago. This prehistoric insect, along with its closely related cousin insects, damselflies, is a member of the Odonata family. Over 3,000 dragonfly species have been identified, and they can be found on practically every continent. We'll look at 15 fascinating facts about dragonflies that you probably didn't know. Number 1. Damselflies and dragonflies are frequently mistaken. The dragonfly and damselfly are the only two species of insects in the Odonata family. Most people will mistake the two at first glance because they have a very similar overall appearance. Their wings hold the key to recognizing them. The dragonfly has four wings, whereas the damselfly has only two. Damselflies tuck their wings in against their bodies while they rest, whereas dragonflies extend their wings out horizontally. Their eyes are also a good indicator. The eyes of all damselflies are separated, but the eyes of most dragonflies are together. Number 2. Dragonflies predate dinosaurs you most certainly come face to face with the progenitors of dragonflies Meganesiptera if you traveled back around 300 million years, sometimes referred to as griffinflies. During the Paleozoic epoch, this long extinct dragonfly relative lived from 323 million to 250 million years BC. Dot the bulk of griffinflies were about the same size as their current counterparts. However, if you were to come across a species known as the Megatippus, it would most certainly terrify the living daylights out of you. The clue is in the name, as the Megatippus developed to frightening proportions, with a wingspan of up to 70 cm exclamation number 3. Dragonflies can be found all over the world. Dragonflies come in a variety of shapes and sizes, and they may be found practically anywhere on the planet. The majority of them seem to stick within a small area, although there are a handful that are more widespread. The Emperor Anax, for example, may be found all over the Americas from Argentina's southernmost tip all the way up to Canada's Newfoundland. The globe skimmer dragonfly, on the other hand, is more striking, as it can be found in the warmer portions of every continent except Antarctica. Number 4. The larvae of dragonflies live in the water. Nymphs are the biological word for invertebrate insects in the metamorphosis stage. Grasshoppers, cicadas, and dragonflies are some examples of these insects. The term nymph is especially appropriate for dragonfly larvae. A nymph is a form of spirit found in rivers, streams, and other bodies of water in mythology. Dragonfly nymphs live in the same water as their legendary counterparts. Dragonflies lay their eggs in aquatic plant tissue or on the water surface as adults. The nymphs eat on other invertebrates, tadpoles, and even small fish for several years after hatching from their eggs. Number 5. Dragonflies have incredible flight abilities. If you've ever spent a relaxing day by a lake, you'll understand what I'm talking about. The ability to fly of dragonflies is so strong that they have been known to travel across oceans. They have the ability to move in any direction, yes, they can even fly backward, and can change direction quickly, virtually rotating on the spot. Their wings are so powerful that they have been seen flying at speeds of up to 36 km per hour. An Australian species known as the Southern Giant Darner has been reported to achieve speeds of up to 97 km per hour. The speed has not been recorded since 1917. Thus, these reports are not believed to be real. We hope you are enjoying being with us. Remember to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button, so that you will be the first person to get notified when we release a new video, share with your friends and family, and hit the like button. 
Now, let's continue. Number 6. All four wings of a dragonfly can be controlled independently. The wings of dragonflies are one of the key reasons they are so good at flying. They can be all of their wings separately, allowing them to fly in four different ways. Dragonflies can hover like helicopters, fly as slowly as a snail or as quickly as an arrow, and even reverse direction as quickly as a pin by beating all four wings in unison. They can even free glide, with some females mating in mid-flight while gliding behind males. Number 7. Dragonflies are among the most skilled hunters on the planet. Adult dragonflies are predators that feed nearly solely on other insects, such as mosquitoes, flies, and moths, as well as smaller dragonflies. They seize their food with their feet while airborne, thanks to their speed and agility in flight. However, one of the most impressive characteristics of dragonflies' hunting skill is their capacity to catch up to 95% of all prey they choose to chase. When they do catch something, they bite its head to paralyze it. They normally sit somewhere and eat their meal there and then, but they may also eat while moving. Their jaws are quite powerful, and they usually attack their victim head first. Number 8. Dragonflies are ruthless assassins. Adult dragonflies are predators that eat mosquitoes, flies, moths, and smaller dragonflies. They seize their prey with their feet while airborne because of their speed and agility in flight. Dragonflies don't only track an insect's movement and outwing it when they're hunting. Instead, they intercept their prey, just like we humans can. To do so, they must calculate not only the speed, but also the direction and distance of their prey. They can do this in a fraction of a second and zip off to where their prey will be, not where it is now. They can do this in microseconds and zoom off to where their prey will be, rather than where it is, in order to catch it. Number 9. Dragonflies have the ability to disguise themselves in mid-flight. During territorial disputes with other male dragonflies, a species of dragonfly known as the Australian Emperor Dragonfly has been observed using a technique known as motion camouflage. Simply said, they fly in a specific direction to make it look as though they are not moving at all. However, this is merely an illusion since they are fast approaching them. It operates by following a flight path that keeps it between the target and the place from which it launched the attack. Number 10. In Western culture, dragonflies have long been associated with evil. Dragonflies go by a variety of names across Europe but they all have an unpleasant or terrible connotation. Connotation about them. The Norwegian name translates as eye poker, while the Portuguese term means eye snatcher. The most terrifying of them all is the devil's darning needle, which originates in North America. A darning needle is a big, blunt needle for repairing holes or damaged patches in garments or other fabrics. Dragonflies are known as devil's darning needles because tradition has it that they sew up the lips of misbehaving children while they sleep. Number 11. Dragonflies, on the other hand, are not always thought to be evil. The Japanese legend around dragonflies is diametrically opposed to how they have traditionally been viewed in the West. In the West, they are associated with witches, snakes, and even the devil, yet in Japan, they are revered creatures. They're thought to represent bravery, success, strength, and happiness. Number 12. The eyes of a dragonfly are a sight to behold. Dragonflies have compound eyes, just like the typical housefly. This means that, that their eyes are made up of thousands upon thousands of individual lenses, each of which is collecting data about the environment. Dragonflies contain up to 24,000 lenses or facets in their eyes allowing them to view almost 360 degrees. The only place where they have a blind spot is right behind them. They can pick out single insects from a swarm using their extraordinary sight, all while keeping a watch on their surroundings while flying at tremendous speeds. Number 13. Some dragonfly species migrate further than you may believe. Certain dragonfly species have been observed to migrate usually to new sites to spawn their eggs in different ponds 
or to avoid adverse weather or temperature fluctuations. They can move on their own or in massive swarms. The green darner is an example of a swarming dragonfly species, as it migrates south to warmer climates in the fall and only returns in the spring. The gloat skimmer is another amazing dragonfly species, capable of migrating up to 17,702 kilometers between India and African continent. Number 14. Dragonflies have the ability to control their body temperature. Dragonflies are cold-blooded, which means that their bodies do not produce enough heat to keep them alive. As a result, cold-blooded animals must obtain heat from their surroundings. Dragonflies like lizards do this by basking in the sun, but this is not their only trick. They can warm themselves up by wing whirring, which involves vibrating their wings at a high enough pace to generate heat. Number 15. The heat is too much for dragonflies. While dragonflies must warm up to a certain amount, they must also avoid being too hot. The obelisk stance is one of the strategies used by certain dragonfly species to beat the heat. You may have even caught a glimpse of them doing it and wondered what they were up to. Well, wonder no longer. The obelisk stance is achieved by a dragonfly almost doing a handstand and sticking its abdomen high into the air. This reduces the quantity of sunlight hitting the dragonfly's body, allowing it to cool off a little. It's simple to see why there are so many odontologists, students of dragonflies and damselflies all around the world. The more you study about dragonflies, the more fascinated you will get. They're the oldest insect, have unrivaled vision and flying, and are stunningly gorgeous. Given their long history on the planet and tremendous talents, I wouldn't be shocked if they outlived the majority of insects we know today. This has brought us to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching our video, we hope you learned something new. The management of The Genuine Facts loves you all for your endless support. Remember to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button, share with your friends and family, and hit the like button.